The first shot across the bed across the bed was right there. The second shot after I heard him shoot my wife, I grabbed him to take him away from there, trying to protect her. He shot me right there between the eyes. Norman Stout survived being shot twice in the head when two men broke into his home in 1984. His wife, Mary Jane, did not. My wife was there. I wanted, above all, to protect her, which I failed to do, which bothers me to this day. Later that year, Clyde Wesley was sentenced to life in prison for his role in Mary Jane's murder. John Stumpf was also convicted for the murder and sentenced to be executed. That execution has yet to take place. Now is the time to do it. Millions of dollars have been spent on these worthless individuals. Last month, Stumpf's execution was pushed from January 2018 to November of 2018. This delay caused by Ohio's inability to find lethal injection drugs that are also considered constitutional. It has to be the most embarrassing thing in the world for these people to read in the newspaper that they can't find a chemical acceptable to kill someone that has killed another individual. Now 87 and still waiting for justice more than three decades later, Norman worries he'll never witness the justice his wife deserves. It's possible I'll be around, but there's also a good chance I won't. The numbers tell the story in Fayette County. In the last 10 days, first responders have seen 30 overdoses, one in every five of them leading to death. In downtown Washington Courthouse, Mother Deanna and daughter Joanna work at Top Dollar Palm. You know, it's big news. Every other person that comes in the door is talking about all these overdoses. And in this store, they've noticed a trend. The same customers trying to sell items that look like they've barely been touched. A lot of new product comes in and, you know, you know nobody has that much brand new stuff. They don't ask for a lot of money. They sell the stuff dirt cheap and it's brand new stuff. It is every day, and it's just, they only want enough money just to get that fix. They're not asking what the product's worth. The store has had to deny customers when they think they're trying to sell stolen items, but there was one individual they could not turn away. He was a good, well-grounded kid. He just got in with the wrong crowd. We harped at him and harped at him, and finally he broke down and confessed to us. That confession led to rehab, and today the women say he's doing great. His mom came in and gave us a big hug and said, you know, she felt like that God led him here. Unfortunately, they and don't believe like the majority is following the same center. path. You get on the website for Fayette County, who's in jail, and every day, every month, it's the same people. It's the same people. It's like, do something with them. The Fayette County Sheriff's Office also telling us this evening that the drugs they use to reverse these overdoses are now in short supply because they're being administered so often. In Fayette County tonight, Matt Edwards, NBC4. Third Avenue and Mount Pleasant. Police say that's about where Reagan Tokes was kidnapped last Wednesday night before being raped and murdered in the coming hours. I just think it's horrible. Nancy it's Patzer like has lived at that intersection since 1999. It's likely the abduction would have been visible from her front porch, although it may have been difficult to see. The lighting is really inconsistent around here. It should be stepped up a little bit. Tonight, I took the easiest path from Bodega to the intersection where Reagan was kidnapped. I'm 10 inches taller than she was, almost certainly taking longer strides. And I walked 83 steps between streetlights from Bodega to the intersection of 3rd and Mount Pleasant. It could have been anybody. Ryan Tips has bartended in the short north for eight years. On Friday, he says he and his co-workers had a meeting and were instructed to be vigilant. And regardless of how many steps it takes them to get from work to their vehicle, they must have an escort. Not like we're waiting on the next tragedy to react. We're just kind of a part of a conditioned way of living of, no, 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 you know, we're all in this together. Phoenicia Edwards says no one else seemed to be around just before 6 a.m. on January 27th. No one except a man wearing a medical mask. She waited until she thought he was gone then began her brief walk across the road to work. And when I did an over my shoulder to see where he was, he was right there.
She says that man was Brian Goldsby. Um, he was right in front of the outpatient care center and he pushed the knife to my neck and told me to shut up that he was going to kill me. Goldsby did not follow through on the alleged threat. Instead, she says he pushed her to the ground, stole her laptop bag and ran off. She says eight months removed, she still feels uneasy. It's a scary feeling. You know, he is a he's a very sick individual. He's pure evil. Twelve days after the incident, Reagan Tokes was abducted just three and a half miles away. Her raped and murdered body would be found the next afternoon. In both alleged crimes, Goldsby was wearing a GPS ankle bracelet that was not actively being monitored. It would have came up that there was somebody that was out on parole that was not a nice person and he could have gone back to jail at that time. Reagan Tokes did not have to die for this to happen. 21-year-old Rashad Barber is facing charges tonight, accused of four counts of indecent exposure. He looks like an everyday kid. In December, a man knocked on LaToya Croft's door, the same one that will lead you to the daycare she and her sister are in the process of opening. This man asked to rake their leaves for $10, and he did rake the leaves, then knocked again. My sister, she gets another knock at the door. She comes back to the door. The gentleman is standing there with himself exposed, and he's asking, can he use the bathroom and use the phone? LaToya's sister scared the man off. Barbara allegedly exposed himself at least four times in a two-month span, including once to a minor as she walked to school. We just want to make sure, you know, we can be at peace in our own neighborhood. The sisters decided that next time a stranger showed up on their doorstep, they would be prepared. So they installed this doorbell, allowing them to see their visitor before opening the door. This, among other security measures. I bought a bigger gun, got a security system, and my dog is more trained aggressively now. Hopefully no one tries the same things. LaToya says she hopes Barber gets the help he needs and realizes his situation could have had a much worse ending. I'm just glad that it worked out the right way this time because you don't always end up like that. Things happen down the line, someone gets hurt. I'm just glad this is it stopped here. It's a typical Tuesday evening in Danville. And on Tuesdays, McFadden's Hot Spot Pizza is the place to be. We can't beat a town like this. Why not? We're small. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody cares about everybody. Not far down the road, the high school basketball team has more spectators than usual. All of them remembering a night one year ago on this date that was anything but typical. This really affected everyone in the community and, and the surrounding areas as well. For me to go outside every night and get in my car at 10 o'clock, I was scared to death. Danville officer Thomas Cottrell was shot to death that night. A year later, Danville residents gathered at the spot of the crime, joined by law enforcement from across Ohio to remember a man gone too soon. I can't use enough words to describe Tom. He is just, he was just a good, good guy. Always had a smile, sense of humor, loved working with kids. Evil will not win the day unless we allow it to take up residency in our heart. And now the community of Danville is helping to comfort and heal those who protect and serve it. Perfect strangers will walk up to you at a ball game and shake your hand and thank you. And we need that. All police officers need that right now.